In just a few hours, we'll know the results of a state investigation into what happened during that deadly Cleveland police chase and shooting last November. The State Bureau of Criminal Investigation will hold a news conference at 10 o'clock this morning. And Josh is live in Richfield to fill us in on what to expect. Good morning, Josh. On November 29th, one of our videographers was doing a ride along with police when the chase began on St. Clair Avenue in Cleveland. The 22 minute chase led officers to Terrace Road in East Cleveland. That's where police shot and killed the two people inside the car 43 year old Timothy Russell and 30 year old Melissa Williams. Officers fired 137 rounds at them. But investigators found no weapons belonging to Russell or Williams. The medical examiner said, both Russell and Williams had cocaine in their systems at the time. The State Bureau of Criminal Investigation immediately began looking into the shooting. Cleveland leaders wanted answers too. The mayor saying if police followed proper policies and procedures, the city would fully support them. But if officers go outside the parameters uh, uh, that we have set, then uh, there will be consequences. Police say 63 officers had some kind of role in the chase. Investigators interviewed 115 in all. 13 of the officers who fired their weapons were put on desk duty while the state and city investigated. But family members of the victims and the NAACP demanded answers from the beginning. The police, they don't have any rationale for gunning down unarmed people. Now, the NAACP actually had an event just last night in Cleveland, once again, demanding answers in this case. Uh, the victims' families now have attorneys. We're told they've been instructed not to talk to the media before today's news conference. Mike and Macy. And Josh News Channel 5 will bring you live coverage of that news conference. You can find it right here on your television or newsnet5.com as well uh, as your mobile device.